Postmate is a coffee because I ran out of milk and I just got it. This coffee is my obsession right now. It's a honey milk latte, I'm pretty sure it's called. It's from the coffee shop Hidden Grounds Coffee. We're starting a weekly vlog a day late today because yesterday, all I really did was go to an allergist appointment. So we're starting the vlog today. I woke up an hour ago or two hours ago now and I've been editing today's vlog. I'm almost done with that. And then we're gonna get up and get ready for the day i have two events in the city later so it should be a pretty good day starting it off with a really freaking good coffee so i'm happy i'll be here i just wanted to pop in and say hi but i need to finish editing this video i'm gonna try to finish by 10 and it's 9 42 so okay i finished editing 30 minutes passed when i wanted to finish but it's okay i still have time to get everything done i'm about to go run out and move my car i also have to drop off a couple of things at ups and pick up a prescription that i have at why did i just say prescription like that prescription i feel like spring's coming and it's making me so happy i'm also scared that i'm gonna have a ticket on my car moment of truth is this my car wait that's not my car is that my car no I was like, since when did my car have so many scratches on it? I was about to fight somebody, but no, just a different Volkswagen. Do I have a ticket? Oh, I don't have a ticket. I never pay for my street parking. I figured out that they don't give you tickets for parking on the street in Hoboken and not paying for it. They only give you tickets if you're parked on a street sweeping day. So now I just never pay for my parking and it works out for me every single time. I mean, don't take my advice because I don't know, maybe it won't work out for you. It is actually so freaking nice out right now. I'm so happy. I feel like spring is finally like coming a little bit. I mean, it's still as cold, don't get me wrong, but it's not nearly as cold as it was. And it just, the air feels like spring. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm just really happy about that. Dropped off my returns and picked up my medicine for my allergies. Now I need to go park my car and literally run home because I'm gonna be late for my events at this rate. It's 11.30 and I need to leave at 1.30 and I take forever to get ready. So yeah, like I need to shower and clean my hair and do my hair and pick out an outfit. So I need to stop talking and get going. Okay, it's time to get ready. I realized that the first event, you can stop by anywhere between 10 and 4. So we're going to go at 3 instead of 2, just so that there's like less time in between both of the events. Also, it gives me more time to get ready, so that's always a win. I picked out my outfit, and I decided to go with my natural hair today because I really just couldn't be bothered to actually do it. I hope it dries nice today. I've been really trying to just embrace my natural hair. I don't know. I just feel so much more confident when I have, like, a nice blowout or my hair is curled. It's also so much easier to maintain, like, when I have my hair curled, it'll last, like, a few days. When I have it natural, it's like I wake up and I look nuts, but... I do have naturally wavy pretty hair and I feel like, I don't know, I used to wear it natural so much more. I'm trying to get back to that. Look at my nails. I just did them like two days ago. I want to make a video doing my nails. I've gotten pretty good at it. It still takes me a very long time, but I'm so proud of myself that I've gotten to this point. Like, hello. I use Gel X and the tips are pretty long, so I really shaped these myself and I'm really proud. They're all even and they look so cute. I love them. Anyway. rocking a canadian tuxedo today the top and bottom are both from white box so i'm trying to get a picture in this while we're in the city I'm giving britney spears a little bit i'm wearing heels because the pants are pretty long they're even too long with the heels but you know what it works <laughs> i'm about to call an uber to go into the city the first event is with dsw to see their summer collection i'm so excited about that and it's also at the one hotel central park and then after that i think we're gonna grab food i am starving so very excited. And then we have a finery event just to see some of their new fragrances. And it seems like it's just a little cocktail party kind of vibe at Nomo Soho. So should be a really fun night.
got to Soho. Our second event is at Nomo Soho. We just took pictures and now we're just killing time because it doesn't start till 6 and it's 5 30. We ate, we got French onion soup, fire. It was really good. I needed it. And now we're just playing. We're being silly. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> got home I already changed literally the second I walked into my apartment put on comfy clothes because I just couldn't do the denim on denim any longer I actually felt so cute in that outfit at first I was like this is different for me I don't know how I feel but once I was like out and about I felt so cute in it and I don't know I feel like wearing something different always makes me feel just a little bit more confident because I feel like it like forces me to and I got so many compliments on it so love that I took a bunch of pictures in the city so i'm gonna download those and just chill take off my makeup and relax for the rest of the night it's almost nine o'clock today was such a productive day like i'm so happy right now because i always feel so good after a productive day because then at the end of the day i'm like okay i can rest now no guilt because when i'm a little lazy during the day and then i'm trying to rest at night i'm like you have no reason to be resting because you didn't get shit done so yeah i'm just happy anyway i'll be here and being so lazy this morning boo is being so cuddly and it's making me not want to move it's like 9 30 now i fell back to sleep when i first woke up because boo just started cuddling and she being so sweet no, for <laughs> oh my god that was so mean on that note i guess it's time to fucking get up that was mean. I was trying to show how cute she is and how sweet. She runs off. I feel like every time I put the camera on her, she runs away. She's like, no, thank you. Okay. Sorry, girl. Sorry. It's so gloomy out. I have to film a white fox haul today. The lighting's gonna be whack. Oh my god. I really don't feel like getting up. <sighs> my bed is so warm and cozy. Okay, I need to stop complaining. I need to get the fuck out of bed and stop being a lazy piece of shit. Thanks. Yay. My favorite time of the day is breakfast every single day. I just placed an Instacart order because I needed a bunch of groceries and I was literally fighting with myself in my mind. I was like, I really should just go to the store, save the extra like 20 bucks that it costs to do Instacart. But I convinced myself that I should do Instacart because it's going to be raining all day. I'm literally so lazy and I don't understand people who like enjoy grocery shopping. I freaking hate it. I got these juice shots, omega-3 ginger and turmeric. I think they're supposed to help with gut health or something. Juice. Oh, that was not yummy. Mm -mm. I'm so sorry. I abandoned you guys today. I was filming other content. I filmed another YouTube video and I just was getting some things done. And then I also was just in my own little world. I don't know what happened to me today, but I was fighting demons all day for some reason. I'm gonna blame it on the weather. It's like pouring rain outside right now. But I just, I almost started hysterically crying halfway through the day. And then I was like, no, my makeup looks too good and I have to film, I can't cry. I'm trying to balance you guys on my paper towels and it's not working. I literally was just like sitting in my room and I started thinking too much. I'm, I was gonna tell you guys what I was thinking about, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up. But basically, I, I was going through it today. I'm gonna make myself a bagel for dinner because I really don't feel like cooking anything else. I also finished watching Heart of Dixie today while I was getting ready, and I'm so upset that I finished it. I just want to know why the CW canceled that show because it was so good. Like, I'm so happy with the way it ended, but I'm sad. That's literally been my comfort show for the past month, and I'm gonna miss it. If you guys have any good show recs, please comment them down below because I really need some new shows now. I think tonight I'm gonna watch Monday's episode of The Bachelor. I just saw so many TikToks of it. I have Hulu, so I can't watch it till the morning after, but I saw so many spoilers, so I basically know what happens already, but I feel like I might as well just watch it. So I think I'm gonna do that tonight while I clean and do some laundry. But yeah, today was pretty productive, but wasn't anything special, so you guys really didn't miss out on much. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. I just woke up like an hour ago. Had a little breakfast. Ate my cute little coffee. Came out so good today. I'm about to just sit here and edit for a while. Yesterday, I don't even know what happened yesterday. I did get a lot of filming done, but I swear I like don't even remember 
the entire day. Like I was so out of it. I was in such a fog. I don't know, my brain was like just not working yesterday. And I felt very sad like all day, <laughs> but I did get so much work done. So that's a plus, but I woke up feeling a lot better today. I think that it has a lot to do with the fact that it was so gloomy out yesterday. And today the sun was shining right when I opened my eyes. And I also woke up to Frankie laying on my chest, just staring at me purring. And that was the best way I ever could have woken up. It did make me stay in bed for another like 20 minutes because I was just cuddling her, but it was the best way ever to wake up. I was so happy. I'll be here for the next couple of hours. I need to get this video edited and i don't know what else i'll do for the rest of the day i want to like leave my apartment today <laughs> so maybe we'll we'll do something later once i'm done and also look at how cute my pajamas are i just got these from white fox this little like romper it's so freaking cute and i just put this sweater that's also from white fox over it because i'm cold but oh my god i've never woken up feeling cuter in my entire life so love that for me I just finished doing everything I needed to do work-wise today. I think I'm gonna get ready and go outside. It's so nice out. Maybe I'll go for a nice long walk. I haven't done that in honestly a long time because it's been so cold. It probably is cold right now. Let's see. It's like 40s, so I have to bundle up a little bit, but I need to like get out of my apartment. I've been in here for way too long and haven't touched grass, so. I'm ready for my therapy walk. I just have on this set from Maritzia. I think this jacket's from Forever 21. Hopefully it keeps me warm enough. I'm so excited to blast some music in my headphones and just take a nice little stroll. That's what I need right now. It is so fucking cold and windy. I'm going home. This was a very short lasting. <laughs> I think this just made my seasonal depression worse. I for real don't know why I thought that that was a good idea. It is so cold. I was walking towards the water and like the way there wasn't so bad, but obviously by the water, it's like a million times more cold. And then once I turned around, I was walking against the wind and I literally could not feel my hand. I was texting and this hand like started cramping up because it was so cold and I actually could not use it anymore. So um, I decided to come home. I literally think I just walked for like 20 minutes. <sighs> Let's see how many steps I got in. I really like spring needs to happen right now. I can't do this anymore. Okay, I did 4,432 steps. That's better than yesterday at 799 steps. No wonder I felt like dying all day. Oh my god, guys, I, I need the winter to wrap it up. I seriously am becoming less of a human every single day. I can't. Okay, I'm going to clean up. I just have to do some like dishes, put away some laundry, and get that all together. And then I want to cook dinner tonight. So once I have my apartment situated we're gonna cook and i'm so excited i've been making these burrito bowls it's literally chipotle at home and it is so good and so easy so i'm gonna show you guys how i do that okay i'm halfway through cleaning i got super hungry so we're gonna make dinner now okay here is everything that i use the only two things that i actually cook which doesn't really even probably count as cooking is the chicken and the peppers i just get frozen mixed peppers it's just so easy and like the pre-cooked chicken i can't do anything other than this because if I see like the chicken before it's cooked it grosses me out so yeah and then I get this this is cilantro and lime jasmine rice and you literally put this in the microwave for one minute and it's the perfect amount of rice this is literally like lazy girl hack to cooking and then my toppings I just do some pico guac normally I just do avocado but I decided to get guac this time and then this is the type of cheese that they use at Chipotle they use mild cheddar and monterey jack and I get this fajita seasoning for the peppers. And that's it. And it comes out so good. Literally can make this under 10 minutes. So yeah. I use two pans. Sometimes I only use one, but today we're going to use two. Just take a few pieces of chicken. I don't like too much, so that should be good. I'm going to take the peppers. Oh, that's too much. Honestly, I could have done this in the same pan. I don't know. Uh, halfway through cooking the peppers i take the fajita seasoning and i only do a little bit i don't know if this is even correct but it always comes out really good yeah. some more 
and it just gives it such a freaking good flavor. I love that seasoning. This brand is the best in my opinion. Well, actually, I haven't tried anything else, but it's really good. Let's just put this chicken on here because I like to mix the chicken into the seasoning too. Mix it all together. It literally tastes so good. I've learned that I am so freaking impatient when it comes to cooking. Like, when I'm hungry, I want my food now. Like, I don't want to, I don't know. I guess I can meal prep, but I'm also lazy when it comes to cooking because I don't, like, love cooking. Maybe one day I'll love it, but today's not that day. And then I take my rice. I've actually only ever tried the white rice of this, but they use cilantro lime rice at Chipotle, so I wanted to try this one. You just pop that in the microwave for one minute and then you add all of the toppings and it's so good. The rice is done. Hopefully it's good. Stop climbing up here, my love. Yeah. How freaking gorgeous is that? Mm -hmm. And it tastes just as good as it looks, even better. I always add a Tabasco sauce and I got some corn tortilla chips from Whole Foods and that's that's all you need. It's literally so good. Like look at that. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Wow, that is good. I'm a chef. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat. I need to pick out a good YouTube video to watch while I eat the rest of this, so I'm gonna go, but hope you guys enjoyed Lazy Girl Cooking. Should that be a new segment that I do? Lazy Girl Cooking? Because that's me lazy girl who tries to cook wait also the lime cilantro rice is so good it tastes like i'm scooping up every bite with the hint of lime tostitos and i love those so i'm very pleased this is so good oh, oh my god i almost just ate shit <laughs> out of my apartment i literally got on like a cleaning high and started and could not stop i was dusting literally every crack and crevice which also i dusted i think three days ago and the dust was already back that is the most annoying thing in the entire world i hate dust it pisses me off it's so annoying i feel like i'm just constantly cleaning but I do feel really good. I just took a shower, lotioned my entire body. Like, I feel good. I have on a matching pajama set. Like, we're, we're doing good right now. I love going into the weekend with a clean apartment. Update on the mold issue and how I've been feeling. So I went to a allergist last week. I had called this allergist and I asked them if they tested for mold exposure and they said yes. But when I got there, they only tested for if you're allergic to mold and like all these different kinds of mold. So the allergist did say that it sounded like it could be a possibility that I have been exposed to mold, but she also did end up giving me a whole allergy test, just like an environmental one. And so I found out that I am slightly allergic to cats. I'm extremely allergic to dogs, which I already knew. I am very allergic to dust mites, which I also knew that. So now when I clean, I wear a mask. And also when I clean the litter, I wear a mask because kind of is dusty i'm really tempted to buy one of the robot litter boxes because of this but yeah so obviously all of those things make me feel bad too so i'm not 100 percent positive if it's mold but my water heater did break again and it has been leaking this week too so i still do feel like that could be an issue that is going on but for now i am just keeping up with myself taking allergy medicine doing nose spray i still feel a little bit shitty but I'm pushing through. I only have three months left on this lease and I've been looking at other apartments. So yeah, in New Jersey, they don't have laws against mold. And at this point, I'm just like, I mean, maybe I'll find another doctor that actually could test for mold exposure. But like at this point, I'm probably going to be out of here in three months anyway. So I don't know. I kind of just feel like what's the point? But yeah, that's where I'm at. All right, I'm going to go lay down. I want to update my Amazon storefront. So I'm going to do that until I fall asleep. I feel so good going to sleep with a clean apartment is one of the best feelings in the entire world. And I changed my sheets. Fresh sheets, shaved legs, 
lotion body with a clean spotless apartment this is actually my peak i'm not i'm not kidding happy friday i've been up for like four hours already i've just been getting like so much done around my apartment got some work stuff done cleaning my sheets like i'm just doing all the things my cleaning high from last night literally continued i woke up at like 8 30 in the morning and just started cleaning i was like literally i don't know what's going on but i'm not mad at it decided to do this little face mask I keep these in my fridge. They're nice and cold. I just feel like my skin looks really dull right now. And my eyes feel like kind of heavy. I don't know. I just need some cooling on my face. So we're doing this Patchology face mask. They're my favorite face masks ever. I don't have too much going on today. After I do this, I want to list some things on my Poshmark for you guys. I don't know if they're like already gone by the time this is up because I am going to post it on my Instagram story. So I don't know. But if not, my Poshmark will be linked down below and then tonight i'm gonna go into my hometown and we're gonna hang out with my friends probably do something chill so yeah i'm excited to see them i haven't seen drew maddie and carly in such a long time i feel like i haven't seen any of my friends in such a long time just a little homebody i love being a homebody but i feel like i am a very like introverted extrovert because i definitely need to be alone to like recharge but i love being around people like i notice that i get kind of like sad when i'm alone for too long but i also get really drained if i'm with people for too long so i don't know i just need like a good balance where i'm all out of whack so i definitely can't wait to see some friends i really want more of my friends to move to this area i have like a couple friends that live by me but i need more <laughs> Because I literally like do everything by myself. Okay, now that I look like a crazy person, I'm gonna list my shit on Poshmark. <laughs> this feels so good. This is all the stuff that I want to list. <laughs> Okay, I finished listing everything on my Poshmark and now I'm making a little lunch. I have this little pre-made Caesar salad. I'm starving. Oh, oh, that was a lot. Okay. My head literally just started pounding because I was so hungry. Literally, I don't know where it just hit me. My bowl is just not big enough for this freaking salad. Lunch is served. I don't know how I'm going to mix this. It's literally overflowing. It's a few hours later. I did my makeup on TikTok Live. I went live twice this week. I missed it so much. I used to go live all the time and I like forgot how much I love it. So follow me on TikTok if you ever want to hang out with me. Got ready a little bit just to... I feel cute and I'm gonna go hang out with my friends so I might as well have a little bit of makeup on but yeah we're gonna drive over to my hometown probably right now I need to get up feed my cats and then we're gonna go I'm gonna sleep there and wake up early and come back because I don't like leaving my babies for too long it makes me sad but we want to have a wine night so I'm obviously gonna sleep at my parents house and yeah okay let's go i'm getting tired i need to get up or i'm and i'm not going and we're having it at my house so i need to get up i'm so excited to see my friends hanging out with my friends is one of my favorite thing ever in the entire world to do hello, hello. hello. hey nice shirt thank you, you muay thai Morning. hey i came in and instantly raided their kitchen and i'm heating myself up a slice of pizza Yum. I'm so excited. And I also stole my mom's wine because we're doing a wine night. And I did not come prepared, so. Shout out to Michelle, who's not here. She's at the beach with her friends. Hmm. Go with my friends. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't we're having a cute wine night. Watching music. <gasps> true, true, true. I almost just shut this on <laughs> did. <laughs> did smell up in it. I did. I'm soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> and now I smell wine. And I'm really wet. Why did you? I didn't even smell. No, <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if we play this back, you can probably see it. Like, I saw it out the corner. It's like it's dripping down my ear. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're you whole. No, I can't even do that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry for that. I gotta play a game. Hey, guys. What should we do? Wow. Um, never have I ever dirty and evil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no normal drinking games on apps. I know, they're all like, yeah. take your pants off. Which, like, I will, but, like, is that the vibe? Oh, this looks fun. Yay. This is fun. 
23. This is 23. <laughs> we're killing we're 23. We're Ew. old. That's not old. That's not old. No, we're like, I feel like at this point of life, I don't think about how old we are. Like, I don't have, like... Yeah. Like, I feel like... It, Life isn't even real. <laughs> That's how I feel. And no, because the twenties are a very weird time. Like I just like, feel like I'm just floating. Yeah, real. Like I don't feel like it's real. We're just trauma dumping. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like you keep yeah, telling me that the thirties so are the best, though. I've, I've heard, heard that thirty, flirty, and thriving. Yeah, because you're like really confident. Settle. In yourself. No, yeah, yeah I've like, heard that. And my hairdresser told me that on Saturday. She was like, "Oh yeah, you know, like who you're like." squat is when you're yeah. dirty like you're yeah. so comfortable like you have your kids you have your house yeah. like you're like I don't know if I'll have kids by 30 at this I'm point she's like 34 like, 35 no I'm getting really worried I was driving home today and I was like I had this like epiphany I was like oh my god I'm never gonna get another boyfriend it's not gonna happen That's what you will yes, you will you 100% will how it's just <laughs> <laughs> literally how am I meant to meet dating in this era just sucks there's no good does. men I'm taking a break Everyone doesn't care. Like, everyone wants to just hook up. It's just not it. And I hate yeah. dating apps. Never will do a dating app ever again. No, definitely don't do that. Yeah, no. I don't hate on anyone that does. Go for it. But, like... Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I That's literally like the only way I meet people. There's no way. I match with people and I never speak to them. I saw... Wait, who did I see today? Oh, I saw... Catherine's ex? No. <laughs> That's Austin <laughs> McGroom. <laughs> <laughs> Mika normally hates me. Aww. He's such an on people person. He thinks we're like hey. Yeah, like he's like loving us. I know. He's such now a finger. Oh Are you a people person? He is. <laughs> he's my favorite one. Your You're a cameraman. Hi, Kay. Yeah. The only girl. Hello. We, we put, the seat is all the way uh, down. Going, We're getting one knees. I was I put the I put the the donut on and then I drove home and then Dad said the donut was flat. So you got the you got your tire flat and then you got your donut flat. That sucks. My friends left and I'm drunk because I drank a whole bottle of wine to myself. I don't know why, honestly. It just sort of happened that way. And now, I'm making my brother take me to Wendy's. Because I really want it. And if I door dashed it, guess what? They wouldn't bring me cheese sauce. I have to go in person and say, please give me cheese. I'm so excited right now for real. Dave's, who's Dave? It's like Dave everything. He's the guy that owns this place. Dave owns Wendy's? Yeah, like the whole thing. What the fuck, who's Wendy's? You don't know Dave? No, I don't know Dave. And he's the one. He owns Wendy's? Oh. I don't know who Dave is. Okay. Hi. There might not be this one. This one. Hello? Damn, everything is Dave. 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 I wonder who Dave is. Who's Dave? Like, Dave oh. Thomas. I'm like, oh my god, he is the guy. Oh, he's so cute. Dave oh. Thomas. He's dead. Oh, rest in peace. Sweet January 8th, 2002. He was 69. No. Okay. I love him. Hello? Oh, Why is nobody at this fucking thing? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? I love Wendy's, guys. It's so good. If you guys never had Wendy's, you should try it. Well, Wendy's, are you using them all up today? No. no. What can I have for you? Can I please have a six piece chicken nugget? Any sauce? Can I have cheese sauce? Cheese sauce, anything else? Can, can I have two of them? Two cheese sauce? <laughs> yes. Anything else? Can I have a medium fry? <laughs> and then. Can I have Dave's combo? Single, double? Uh, double. double? What's the drink? A Coke. Anything else? That's it. All right, we 2010, thank you. Okay, thank you. That was so scary. Mm. Why was that so scary? He couldn't hear a thing I said, because I was- just, He was like, what? Yeah, he literally paused for three minutes, because yep. he couldn't hear me. No, I have the Apple ID. Apple, Apple Pay. ID? That works here? Apple Pay. Wendy's, 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 Wendy's. I'm so excited. What's your favorite fast food McDonald's? Uh, yeah, probably. See Do you like In N Out? I had it like once. Mm -hmm. I didn't live in California like you did. Did we, you like. Yeah, we didn't get In N Out when, did you ever when get, I went for two weeks. Did, really? With, we didn't want to get In N Out ever. That's weird. Do you ever get canes? 
No, no, I've heard it's good though. Canes is so good. I miss Canes <coughs> so bad. I just don't like Times Square, so I'm not gonna go to Times Square for Canes. Oh my god, that looks so good. I remember when we used to go to your um, your ballet show. I don't know where to get one of these after. Yeah, I guys, I used to dance. I dan took dance classes for 10 years. I used to take jazz, ballet, tap, musical theater, all the things. And this was right, this Wendy's was right by it. We got our Wendy's. Yeah, we do. With my dad. Dad, do you want to tell the people how you're feeling? Do you want to tell them what happened to you? I fell down the stairs. I yeah. broke five ribs. Yeah. Bruised my lung. <laughs> hurt my shoulder. Yeah, you could. Do you want to tell them? I hurt my back. I just did. <laughs> okay. Had to get surgery on two ribs. Yeah. Plates. Mm -hmm. Unreal. Unreal, but he's okay now. Yeah, they're not okay yet. Yeah. I want a bite. You can fucking eat that thing. We accidentally got him two burgers. I don't really know. Do we have one? Wait, know. this is like a chicken burger. Wait, what? They the gave us a chicken this. sandwich. I think they gave us just the wrong thing. It's not wrong. good. Want to buy them? Or I want to buy them over. I've never had a burger from one of these. They have good burgers. It's tasty. Jeez, that what is good. Bite. What? Of that. I took a little bite from right there. Oh, that was my bite there. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> That's your big bite. My big mouth. Whoa, that bite.